He was hill hopping. That's what they call driving fast over the crest of a hill to get air. But now his friends want it stopped. News Channel 8's Erica Harquist joins us live from the scene of the crash near Jefferson. Erica. Tracy, officers said the car came screaming down this hill before hitting a power pole. Now, a new pole has been put in its place, and as you can see, many people have been coming by to sign it. This memorial has literally been growing by the minute. There is no doubt about it that Nick Jolly was loved by many. I just can't believe he's just, he's not here. His graduating class at Jefferson High School last year had just 67 seniors, so all the kids were incredibly close. The death of 19-year-old Nick Jolly has hit them especially hard. Things keep playing in my mind, like Nick's never going to, you know, go to college. He's never going to get married, stuff that I'm going to be able to experience in my life. Saturday night, Nick and two buddies were on a joyride along Valley View Road. Officers say they hit speeds close to 100 miles an hour. That's when the car went over this hill and crashed into a power pole. Jolly died instantly. Another teen is in the hospital. The third walked away. Don Daughter lives right next door and says the dip is so big it draws teens here. That's very tragic. It's just awful. Just kids, not not thinking, thinking everything's going to happen to somebody else and not them. That's what's scary. Just last month in Salem, four teens crashed but survived while hill hopping. The driver was impaled by this fence. When you have a teenage kid with uh, two or three years of driving experience. They don't really understand the dynamics of hill hopping. Officers say parents should talk to their kids about it. Get them to come to realize that some of these are life-changing and, and you, you can't go back and do it over. It's not like a video game that you can just put, hit reset. Now, one of the passengers released a statement from the hospital. It says everyone should learn a lesson from this crash. It's not all fun and games. Bad things can happen. It doesn't matter who you are. I want people out there to not make the same mistake.